now you guys the previous video that i did i was just breaking down the no buzz for you and i was explaining to you how jt basically came for the transformer and literally turned the transformer into a blogger okay now so it seems like some people are accusing Nicki minaj of basically coaching jt <laughs> into dissing the transformer but i'm like no jt didn't need any coaching to diss somebody because that somebody literally came for her first unprovoked okay so please drop that narrative okay now meanwhile lottery ticket has dropped her song with uh you know john cook and i did listen to it and i will literally tell you what i think about that song um you know in this video and at the same time Agba is out there doubling down okay on her stuff okay that she's always saying okay so it seems like it's a mess that jetavia is causing and she was also out there basically quoting jt's lyrics and young miami is now finally uh promoting jt's um jt's song because previously you guys do know that people were calling her out of not being supportive enough towards JT uh, when JT is always supportive towards her. It seems like finally she has decided to come on Twitter and basically support JT. However, you guys, she put a tweet on private or guys, you guys, a reply on private because a fan had accused her of basically a tweeting a, a, a tweet, a, a, a line, a bar from no, from no buzz that actually uh, is a decent towards the transformer hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i'm trusting you're still doing okay since the first video that you saw okay from me okay now let's jump straight into today's tea so first of all i'm gonna talk about young miami finally supporting um jt so she was being called out you guys like i told you uh people were saying that oh well you don't show the same support you move shady when it comes to jt jt is always shouting about your achievements and your moves on top of the roof and you you are literally just crickets when jt is doing her thing also okay so it seems like news got to her and she finally decided to you know support jt uh because she started tweeting uh some of the lyrics from no buzz on twitter and um some of the lyrics that she decided to tweet was i'm that b i don't give an f um you know who don't like me and then she also said congrats jt i've been telling you this was the one pop your ish okay and then she also said to you hating a H is okay so now people started saying oh well you once said that you wanted to interview cardi and you act like you know you are in good terms with her why are you now tweeting uh bars or lines from jt songs that are literal disses uh you know to the transformer and <laughs> young miami decided to remove the reply that she had to that tweet okay and so twitter does show when you do that and so a fan was calling her out and was basically saying uh why did you just uh, remove that thing why did you put it on private uh stand on your stuff and stuff like that and she was like i don't know what you're saying i was trying to delete the tweet i don't know what happened you know acting all scary and stuff like i do not know why <laughs> these girls are so scared of the transformer like that okay why are they scared uh, are they scared they're gonna pull she's gonna pull a what she's just gonna throw a shoe, a shoe on them like <laughs> what is the reason you guys i literally don't understand why these girls are scared because listen girls you don't have to be scared of this girl this is not 2018 okay she doesn't have massive industry support like she used to well that's just my opinion so it's Stand on your stuff and you know keep your heads high okay don't be threatened by anyone okay no one is gonna end anyone's career they already failed to end Nicki Minaj's career so you don't need to be afraid you don't need to be scared okay stand on your stuff uh Carisha okay you said you don't need to work and do anything in anyway like if I were let me tell you something <laughs> you guys if I were did uh sugar babe listen I wouldn't be scared of anyone I wouldn't be scared of anyone I'm telling you no transformer would literally scare me me <laughs> i'm just kidding you guys okay so that happened you guys and uh moving on so do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that do you think that karisha is scared of the transformer or do you think that people are reaching okay um the next thing that i'm gonna be talking about i'm sorry that's a plane passing i'm in that park of mine that i'm that i'm always in during lunch time so yeah moving on to the next thing that i'm gonna be talking about some fans are saying that Nicki minaj was coaching jt uh to basically diss cardi b now 
Now, I don't think that Nicki Minaj was co was coaching anyone to diss anyone because they too have got their own beef going on, okay? And this all started because Cardi could not stand JT and Nicki Minaj being friends, okay? Because that's when she decided to call uh, JT a lap dog, all right? So I don't want to hear anyone accusing Nicki Minaj of coaching anyone, okay? Because she doesn't need any coaching. They have problems enough, okay? So please drop that. Now, I'm not going to deny that the second verse actually does have a Nicki Minaj influence. I'm telling you, the second verse you can hear Nicki Minaj written all over it. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but I'm saying that you can tell where the motivation and the inspiration was basically coming from, uh, you know, for that verse, okay? So please, leave Nicki Minaj out of this. She's just supporting a female rapper. This is what you guys requested, that she supports female rappers, and that's what she was doing yesterday, promoting Jetavia's single. So please, leave Mother alone, okay? Now, the final thing that I'm going to be talking about is um, Agba V. All right. Akba V is out there basically dragging the behind out of the Transformer. I'm telling you, if you do know Akba and the Transformer, they always have like they've got a bitter relationship. I don't know. It's always a back and forth with them. And it seems like Akba had uh, some words to say. OK, so after the Transformer decided to turn into a blogger and basically threaten that she has tea on someone, Akba was like, oh, well, why are you that suspicious? Nobody said your name. Why are you all defensive and stuff like that? And she went ahead to say that, well, you're your husband is embarrassing you in the streets and stuff like that uh he's out there buying people shoes and handbags and you think you are that b and then they she was also saying that you know what he's also paying rent for these girls and stuff like that and i'm like akba what is happening with you now i'm just gonna say this also you guys i don't think it's okay for us to shame a woman just because a man is cheating okay except if that woman is out there also bragging that her friend effed another woman's man okay um but under normal circumstances you guys let me just give you this free advice that you didn't ask for do not go around shaming women um you know for their men cheating okay but at the same time do not also go around bragging that another woman is causing another woman harm okay because if you do that that listen people will literally come for you like what's happening right now okay so Agba V had some words to say and after she said she said her stuff she literally said JT's song is the song okay she was basically endorsing JT's song all right so yeah that's that about that tea lovers do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about this commotion that JT keeps on causing in the streets because of no bars because listen honey it's chaos in the streets all right now at the same time you guys the last thing that i'm going to be talking about lottery and jungkook finally dropped and the song is doing well when it comes to numbers and it's nothing surprising because i mean you do know that bt has, has a lot of followers a lot of fans you know the army doesn't play when it comes to streams like that so i'm not surprised um congratulations to them for that i did listen to the song however and in my personal opinion i think it could it, it could do without you know a lottery ticket vest but well i guess a management oh she doesn't have management i, I don't know label is working extra hard uh you know to just to get her a number one because she cannot trend by herself she cannot do charts by herself so yeah i could see why they asked her to be on that song all right they asked for her to be on that song so congratulations to her okay i wish um she could be able to make a buzz like jt uh you know by herself <laughs> do you get what i'm saying so yeah i salute jt for that because her debut is is amazing you guys a single as a, as a solo artist it's, it's amazing now thank you guys very much for watching this video is becoming extremely long and lunchtime is almost over i will see you in another video because i've got some more tea that i just got my hands on you guys you will not believe what people are doing in the streets okay do not forget to subscribe and until my next one you guys see you let me run back into the office